Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video we are going to do a preparation guide for Treasure Map vs Summer Frankie. Very annoying treasure map to team build around, but at this point in my opinion what's new? Like another month, another step back for treasure map, I am not expecting this mode to ever improve, so hopefully this video and my team building ideas can help you guys find some teams to at least max out the new Frankie. Like the video if it helps, subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's see what the bosses do and let's see how to beat them. The first mini boss is Carrot, she will actually be int. Everyone will get special cooldown reduction in stage 1. In stage number 3, Carrot will remove beneficial effects, give 2 turns of special bind to everyone, 1 turn of crewmate fear, sailor despair essentially, 1 turn of hunger, and then 3 turns of an attack down under a 2.3 times chain. She will also gain defense down immunity and my team for beating her is this one. I am going to use V2 Katakuri as double captain because he is boosted by 1.35 times. Then for subs I am using Mugiwara 56 Sanji. He is mainly here for boosting but if you activate him in stage number 2 you will get the boosting and also increased chances of matching slots. Then V3 Marco is extremely important because with his limit break abilities, if you have him limit broken, he can help you resist hunger and also fear. That way, Nami if limit broken will resist special bind and then remove it from everyone else while also giving you a chain lock in order to not get affected by the attack down. Finally, we have Ulti here, the new rare recruit. She is not necessary, she is not helpful. She is only here for her point boost and because I was lucky enough to get her in the treasure map Sugo, if you do not have her, replace her with whatever you want. If you do not have V3 Marco, you need to remove the hunger, that is very easy to do, just replace Marco or Ulti with a unit that can give you RCV slots, consume one and the hunger is gone. But you also need to remove fear, because if you don't, then you cannot resist the special bind with Nami and remove it. So you either need to remove the special bind with a support which I don't really think is possible or easy to do and for you to remove the fear with another limit break ability free to play Sai Usap works but I think he needs to be limit broken plus I am not certain you can check but you can definitely do it For Nami because she's a treasure map rare recruit you need someone to remove special bind and give you a chain boost or a chain lock over 2.3 times and of course always have in mind if you miss one of these units you can replace ulti alongside them to of course fit all of the utility you need in the team and if you miss Sanchez just get someone to boost your damage or even use a friend captain instead of double v2 katakuri for this team the maximum damage output is around 25 million and the point boost is 4.43 times the next mini boss is Califa. she will be Sai and in stage 1 driven powerhouse and shooter classes get their special cooldowns reduced. In stage number 3 against Califa, our slots will be turned to either poison or block, we will have 5 turns of crewmate special bind, she will gain defense down immunity, 5 turns of defense up and resilience and also 1 turn hit barrier for 30 hits. My team for this boss will be using Treasure Map Moria as double captain. He can deal with resilience and also with the special bind because he won't be special binded and then he will free everyone else. But have in mind only driven and powerhouse units. So if someone on your team is not a driven or a powerhouse, he won't be freed from special bind and you cannot use their special. Moria will also give us some boosting. Sirio will give us a color affinity boost and matching slots in the case we have poison slots while rare recruit Perospero will give us matching slots in the case we have block slots Katakuri is here to remove defense up and Arena Queen will deal 15 hits with his special so he can reduce the barrier and then we can penetrate it have in mind that Sirio also has barrier penetration as a limit break ability so he can do damage through the barrier and Queen is mainly here for that. If you can use another unit to completely remove the barrier, like Hannibal Magellan, that is fine. But I am using Hannibal Magellan in the main boss and there is no other powerhouse or driven unit that removes barrier 
and there is no support that removes barrier either. Amazing. Now, if you want to replace Rare Recruit Perospero, the only non free to play unit on the team, you need a driven or powerhouse unit that can make block slots matching. You can also use limited rare recruit support brulee on Katakuri if you do have her and then replace Prospero with whatever you want. This team can do around 40 million damage, it's probably going to be a bit less with the 15 hits of barrier and the point boost will be 4.41 times. The next mini boss will be Nami who is strength and powerhouse cerebral with striker units get their special cooldown reduced. In stage number 3, all of our slots will be turned to either empty block or bomb. We will be inflicted with 8 turns of paralysis, 5 turns of chain coefficient reduction, now, and the boss will gain defense down immunity and 1 turn of nullifying damage. My team for this boss will be using double super tandem law. As captain, he can remove paralysis and he can also deal with the chain coefficient reduction by giving us a boost in our chain and also of course give us an attack boost and an ore boost if he is double captain so he can increase our damage by a lot we also have the super tandem ability and the super class ability for use for the rest of the team now we have rare recruit Beppo who can give us guaranteed matching slots he can make them TND and Lo as a captain makes them matching and then Beppo also allows Lo to gain a super class ability Jack is probably the most important unit here because he can remove the damage nullification shield completely and the left column units are mainly here because they are Q and free spirit Luffy can give us a color affinity boost but if you do not have law for example you can replace them with paralysis reducers if you do not have super tandem law, black maria or kikuizo as your captains Beppo of course can be replaced with anyone that can give you matching slots this team with double super tandem low as captain can do around 125 million damage and the point boost is 4.81 times. The next mini boss is Robin, she is going to be Dex and give a special cooldown reduction to strength Dex and Q units. In stage number 3, 8 turns of captain despair and also bind, 5 turns of attack down, 3 turns of attack down if your chain is below 3.5 times, and she will also gain delay immunity and 5 turns of damage reduction. My team for this quest is using the new free to play event Drake as double captain. He can give us an ore boost and he's also boosted by 1.35 times. Sabo in the middle row can give us adjacent matching slots and chain boundaries to of course move over the 3.5 times threshold to not get affected by the attack down. Kaido is just here for adjacent matching slots, so we have a full board of matching slots and he can also give himself an attack boost. Morley is extremely important, he can remove despair, attack down and damage reduction, so if you do not have him, you need to replace him and probably Kaido, because I don't think there is one unit that can remove all three debuffs. Replace him and Kaido with two units that can remove some combination of despair, damage reduction and attack down or replace maybe with some supports for this pair. And finally we have Kizuna 5 plus Roger who with his double special activation can completely remove bind and also boost our damage. This team of course needs maximum despair sockets even with Morley. The maximum damage output is around 10 million and the point boost is 4.10 times. The main boss of the treasure map is Q Boa Hancock and in battle 1 Fighter, Striker and Cerebral units get their special cooldown reduced. In stage number 2, all of our slots will be turned to block. We will gain 5 turns of attack down, 5 turns of crewmate special bind and the enemy will gain defense down immunity but also immunity to strength, Q and int attacks and the barrier for 3 turns needing 2 perfect hits in order to break. In stage number 3, versus Boa, all of our slots will be turned to int. We will have 8 turns of left column bind, 12 turns of chain coefficient reduction, 5 turns of right column paralysis. Tab timing becomes harder, so perfects are harder to hit. She will gain defense down immunity and also a barrier, which needs 3 turns or 2 perfects in order to break. My team for this final boss will be using Bone Clay as the captain 
You can use him as friend captain as well, but I will be using the new summer treasure map rare recruit Nami, of course, she is the highest point booster, that's why I was also lucky enough to get her. A quick rundown for this team. In stage number 2, you want to activate hidden wire first, they will remove the special bind, if you do not have them though, they are replaceable by any special bind remover you want. A great example and also a free to play one is Raid Luffy from the Wayno Prison. Then you want to activate your Bone Clay Captain to get a base attack boost and make all of the block slots matching, but very important, you want to turn Bone Clay into a Dex Free Spirit Striker unit. Then you want to activate Magellan and Hannibal to remove attack down. Bone Clay needs to be a striker for that to happen. If you activate Magellan Hannibal before changing Bone Clay into a striker unit or a driven one, then the attack down won't be removed and the special will be wasted. So make certain first you activated Bone Clay, you either turn him into a striker or a driven unit for Magellan and Hannibal to of course remove the attack down. After that, you activate Chopper to get a color affinity boost and activate your immunity to chain down and perfect harder to hit for the final stage. And also activate your friend Captain Nami to get an orb boost and easily beat stage number 2. In stage number 3, only one special is remaining, so of course you want to activate Nami to get an orb boost, remove bind, and that's why you need her in the right column so she can evade it and then remove it for the left column units. She will also remove Paralysis and if you have Hudson on her, I recruit Hudson as support, she will get a matching slot and her adjacent units will also get a matching slot. So 4 out of 6 units will have a guaranteed RCV matching slot which will of course increase your damage. If you do not have Hudson, there are other matching slot supports as well. You can use Story Vivi, you can use Rare Recruit Dex Apu, you can use Rare Recruit Karina, the Psy one, so adjacent units can also get matching slots, and so on and so forth. I'm sure there are more in the game. Now, you can also use the super type ability, of course, of Bone Clay to get a chain lock and super typing for even more damage. Michael and Hannibal are definitely replaceable by another attack down remover, but the rest of the units I am not so certain. Now, if there is a unit in the place of Nami to remove paralysis and also bind, you can probably replace her as well, but you are not going to get the orb boost. This team, as I have it, with a friend Captain Summer Nami, can give you a very high point boost of 14.58 times. Don't worry though, I also made a fully free to play team for you guys against the main boss. The multiplier is very bad, but if you have no other choice, might as well use something. With this team, we need a friend Captain Bone Clay though. The rundown for this team is that in stage number 2, you activate Raid Luffy first to remove the special bind and also get a boost in damage. Then you activate Robin, who needs Franoske support to remove attack down completely, but also give you the full board of matching slots through block slots. You can also probably activate Sabo for more damage in stage 2. And then in the final stage, we have King to give us a conditional attack boost against Boa. That happens because Sabo is captain, if your captain is not Dex and you prefer another captain, then you can replace King with something else that helps you. You of course will activate Bone Clay Special and Super Type. And then Rayleigh Support will reduce both Bind and Paralysis, and Nami's Special will completely remove both. In order of course to evade Bind, Nami needs to be in the right column. To make your life easier by sacrificing damage, you can replace King with free to play super class Odin. That way, you will have someone to remove the final barrier from Boa, so you do not need to actually hit your perfects through the perfect harder to hit debuff, and you can have an easier time by losing a bit of damage. I don't think it is a big deal, but might as well also present the option with King and Sabo. Luffy in the final stage will also give you a boost in damage if you hit enough perfects in stage number 2, which you should do anyway to break the barrier. This team is semi free to play because we have V1 Rayleigh, but you need someone to at least remove bind. If you do not remove paralysis completely, you can also use Sabo in the final stage to remove it. You need maximum bind sockets though, and now that I'm thinking about it, it is probably better to use Odin and prefer to remove the barrier over getting the damage with King. But either way, they are both boosted by 1.2 times. The point boost of the overall team will remain the same 
at 3.21 times, which is actually pretty bad. For the final team of the video, we have the intrusion battle against Frankie. He will either be Q or Int. Fighter Free Spirit and Powerhouse units get the special cooldowns reduced. In stage number 2, we get 6 turns of Sailor Bind, 5 turns of Strek, Dex and Q slots to unfavorable, and also the boss will gain defense down immunity. When defeated, the mini boss will fully recover to maximum HP and will also do a hundred thousand damage to us, because isn't that perfect? Then, after we defeat it again, in stage number 3, Frankie will be either Q or Int, he will change randomly. All of our slots will be turned to block. We will get 8 turns of attack down for Strength, Q and Int units. 5 turns of Special Bind, 5 turns of Paralysis, 2 turns of Hunger, and the boss will also gain defense down immunity. Very annoying mechanics in the intrusion, so my team to beat it is this one. I will be using 5 plus Kizuna Roger as captain, and then I will be using a friend captain, Bone Clay. For a quick rundown of this team, in stage number 2, you activate Roger once, he will give you a damage reduction shield to of course survive the damage, and he will also give you a base attack boost and then remove bind alongside sockets. You need maximum bind sockets. Then you activate your sub Bone Clay for a full board of matching slots, and then you want to turn him into a dex unit. Classes do not matter. If you also have Jimbe support on him, treasure map Jimbe, this is actually treasure map reward Jimbe, he will lock the matching slots on the free spirit units, so after the mini boss revive you can still maintain the majority of your matching slots. After him, you also activate Chopper to get a color affinity boost for your Dex and Psy units, meaning everyone essentially, and then after Bone Clay, you also activate Chopper for a color affinity boost, and if you hit two perfects, you will get a base attack boost after the revive. After the revive, by the way, you just want to attack again and defeat the mini boss. You don't really have many options, but at least if you lock your slots, you can guarantee them matching. It is not necessary, but I guess it is preferable for damage. From these three units, Chopper is by the way super replaceable by whatever you want, I just have him here because he can help with the team multiplier, but you can literally use anything that can help you with damage in stages number 2 or 3, preferably stage 2 because in stage number 3 the damage will be of course more. Roger also needs to be captain because you want him to not get binded and then remove the bind from the rest of the subs. In the final stage, whatever the color Frankie decides to be is, you want to activate Luffy first to remove Special Bind and get an attack boost for everyone. Nami will remove Paralysis and she will also give you an ore boost for everyone. Activating Bon Clay will turn all of the block slots into matching and it will be matching RCV, which means you can consume two to also get rid of the hunger. And then you want to turn him into either a Dex or a Psy unit depending on the color Frankie took. And of course you want to activate his super typing to gain more damage against Frankie's color and to also get a chain lock. With the Bone Clay swap to make things super easy and not really complicated, you can just make the sub Bone Clay whatever color has type advantage over the mini boss in stage 2 and you can make the Captain Bone Clay whatever color has type advantage over Frankie so you can also get the correct super typing and more damage. For replacements in this team, Nami can be replaced by Treasure Map Sabo to remove paralysis, you will lose the ore boost though, Chopper I mentioned before by pretty much whatever helps you with damage in stage number 2, the sub Bone Clay goes pretty much the same as Chopper whatever can help you with damage in stage number 2, but also, if you can get matching slots, that would be huge help. And then for Luffy, you need someone to remove the special bind, if you have, for example, new Treasure Map Rare Recruit Summer Robin. But if you remove Luffy with another special bind remover, have in mind you are losing his attack boost, so you should find some other way to either gain an ore boost, an attack boost, or some other boost for your damage against Frankie. The team, how I have it though, needs maximum bind sockets and the point boost will be 7.50 times. And these are all of my teams and how they work for the preparation guide against Treasure Map Summer Frankie. 
If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully the video helped you out, if it did, definitely leave a like, I would really appreciate it, and subscribe to not miss out on the treasure map quick playthrough in two days when the treasure map comes out. As always, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.